Hello everyone, it's Mike from Downtown Comics, and we're going to talk about all the new comics releasing on Wednesday, January 24th, 2024. Before I begin, downtowncomics.com is the place to go to check out all the comics and covers, some of which may not be on these tables. And of course, liking, sharing, and subscribing is always appreciated. All right, let's get started with DC. Harley Quinn is new this week, followed by Detective Comics. The Anthology Series Brave and the Bold hits number nine. Flash hits number five. Sorry, brand new Green Arrow. Power Girl, which always seems to have multiple covers to choose from. And Amazon's Attack, that one is nearing the end. It's on number four, not sure how long it goes. And wrapping that up is Titans Beast World. This is another one shot where they tour Star City. And then finally, the main Titans Beast World miniseries hits number five. So there we go. So a small but awesome week of DC Comics. I believe Penguin is always is out as well, but I have not been able to uh, find a cover of that to show you. So, all right. On to Marvel, and I think IDW's in here too. So we'll start with Daredevil Black Armor number three. The D&D Saturday Morning Adventures cartoon is back, if you enjoyed that. New number one. And then we have the other Dungeons & Dragons book, Fortune Finder. Back to Marvel with the new Gods number four. Immortal Thor. The Miguel O'Hara Spider-Man 2099. It took me two weeks to realize this is weekly, everyone. So, yeah, there's number four, and I believe they'll be the last issue next week. Power Pack is back, so there's probably some trademarks they're trying to protect. Into the Storm, number one. Let's see. Uh, in our reprint series, uh, they are reprinting X-Men number four, which I believe they've never done before, so... That's a reprint of the first appearance of Magneto, probably because he is coming back from the dead. Turtles is three issues away from 150. X-Force 48. The newest Superior Spider-Man series hits number three. And Thrawn is back. So they are going to be adapting the second novel of the new Thrawn novels. So that Thrawn miniseries from a couple years ago was the first novel. Alliance is the second novel. So adapting that. Uh, Defiant, the Star Trek Defiant gets an annual. Uh, a Gang War tie-in, Spider-Woman number three. And then, yes, Magneto is, I guess according to the title, Resurrecting. So this is number one of that miniseries. And you get a bunch of covers to choose from. We'll see what happens. And lastly, for Marvel, Punisher, number three. So a solid week for Marvel, not a huge week. And then let's finish this off with a bunch of independents this week. Uh, Dear Editor, number one, is a new one from Mad Cave. Cyberpunk, that miniseries continues. Crashdown is new from Whatnot. We have a new reprint of Bloodrick. So this is a second printing. So if you missed that, I think it's a second print. Also getting a second print is the Tynan Dracula series. That's issue two. That'll be a second print. But then we get a new one. Issue four is out. All right. Eden Frost, that it's number two. Junior Baker, the Righteous Faker, number five. And for fans of Darkwing Duck, the Justice Ducks gets a miniseries. Uh, Power Rangers hits 116, still part of Darkest Hour. The Double Nightfall feature, the anthology book from Vault, hits number four. Our Spawn book this week is just Spawn. We're one away from 350. You know, they like those even numbers. Starfinder, Starfinder, Starfinder. That miniseries continues. Zawa hits number three. Transformers, if you miss number one for the third time, you can try it for a fourth time. We're fourth printing Transformers number one. So don't wait, just pick it up, it's awesome. Star Wars High Republic Adventures hits number two. Red Sonja hits number seven. Also from Massive, the new volume of Quested, so they're bringing that series back. That was an alternate cover to Power Rangers, so I'll just stick it right over here. So same book. That was an alternate cover to Justice Ducks. 
it'd be nice if I paid attention when I do this. Invasive hits number two. Grim Fairy Tales gets an annual. The Holy Roller hits number three. And our big independent book this week is Ghost Machine. So this is tied into the Geiger universe. This is a one shot that's gonna introduce a whole bunch of characters that will be getting series uh, this year in 2024. So if you're a fan of the Geiger universe at all, if you read, um, what was it, Junkyard Joe, then this is a one shot you should definitely pick up. So grab that. Uh, Faceless in the fan Family, that is number three. The Gargoyles Dark Ages hits number five. And finally, we're going to wrap it up with Disney Villains. Hades hits number four. Or, I'm sorry, number five, which may be the last issue of that miniseries. So, all right, there you go. So, yeah, a lot of independence this week. Uh, Marvel and DC have, okay, okay lineup, some good titles. So, I'm pretty happy. Can't wait, wait to read some stuff. Thanks for watching, and uh, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.